Hello students, you're instructed here, John Mandela with another screencast. This one is going to be more about the workflow of getting a sound file that you have on your computer and getting it into a movie clip in Flash. So I'm here in Adobe Sound Booth, and I'll just go File Open, or I can just double click in the Files area, and I'm going to look for uh, the original MP3 on my desk top, and I can see that this one is in stereo. And first things first, I want to right click here and go to Edit Custom Time Format. I want to make sure the frame rate is the same as my flash document, which I know that my flash document is 15, so I just type 15 right there, hit OK. And now I'm going to do a little bit of trimming off the left side, let's say right there, and the right side, maybe I want to trim it down, let's see, um, yeah, to two seconds, let's say right there is good. And then what I'm going to do, I could add any kind of crazy sound effects, of course, I could do, um, if I wanted to fade it out a little bit, I could just grab this little thing right there. Fade it in a slight bit like that. Well, I don't want to fade in, just to fade out. Good. File save as, not save, save as. And I'm going to call this drill, edit, X. Save that the desktop for now. I can even preview it here. And save that. All right, now that I've done that, I'm in Flash here, and this actually right here is a movie clip. I'm going to open this up, and what I want to do is put some audio. If I hit Enter right now, it's animation of the X coming through like that. I want to put some audio that goes with that. So I'm going to make a new layer, put it to the bottom here. I'm going to call it Audio, and this first frame here, in the library show. I'm going to go to File, Import to the Library, and draw, Drill, Edit X, MP3. Open that up. I'll notice it appears in my library, little speaker phone. I can actually go in here and preview this. Might be hard to hear uh, as I'm recording this, but we'll go with it. Now, what I can do, if I want to edit this, um, I can. Well, sorry, before I do that, I want to go in my movie clip. So, as long as I have this layer active, I just take this and drag it anywhere on there. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to show up on the stage, it's going to show up down here. I click this to preview, you can see that there is a large purple line. You might be able to hear it um, stuttering in the background. Just scrub through there. It's back to normal. And I want to go to properties right now. Clicked in here, go to properties. And the sound is it. Yeah, that's good. Um, sync is at event by default. I want to set mine to stream so it only plays when the movie clip is playing. And then, if I want to edit it, I can hit this little um, pencil, edit the sound envelope. Now remember, I'm just editing the envelope of the sound, not the actual sound itself. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, a little more, and I can see that the sound is actually just past two seconds. If I wanted to see my frames, I can see it's just past 30 frames right there. I'll go back to seconds, and I'll just put this, this is kind of like, and when we were in sound booth, this is like the edge to trim the front and the back. So I'm just going to bring this just inside of two seconds like that. And maybe a little uh, fade left to right since it's stereo and I can do cool things like that. Hit OK. And there we go, that's that. And I go back to scene one. And I'm going to make a save. And I'm going to try to test this movie. Control Enter. And this, of course, is done before. Takes me there. And now I'm going to try to test the movie and see if you can hear the audio. So it's going to play there, um, and then I'm gonna, if I click it again, then just kind of resets it back to the first stop, and play it again. You can see it. It's only interacting when the movie clip itself is playing. So if it's not playing right now, it doesn't interact. That's what the stream allows me to do when I set the um, sync to stream on that. So that's how I can add sound in movie clip. Notice we didn't have to change any code that we had before. Or we didn't have to add any code. It's just that's how you can put sound in there. You can, of course, put sound in a number of different areas. This is how you put it in a movie clip. So that's all I got. If any questions, you know how to contact me. Goodbye.